Santa and his elves were working hard to ensure everything was in place in time for Christmas. No one knew what was yet to come. Because they had worked so hard, Santa said the elves could have an early night whilst he stayed up and read more wishes. But not all the elves' brains were resting. Five young elves were still thinking of new presents to make this Christmas. The next morning, the elves ate breakfast and then went to their workstations immediately. Gabriel, the game-changer elf, went to discuss a new idea with Santa, but when he had got to Santa's office, he discovered Santa had gone missing. Gabriel told Peter, the playmaker elf, he rushed around the Christmas factory announcing to everyone that Santa Claus had unexpectedly gone missing. He told the elves to check the whole of the North Pole. Santa was nowhere to be seen. Peter told the three other elves with Gabriel, the Game Changer elf, to help find Santa and save Christmas. Thank you so much for the help, said Gabriel in relief. Well, we would do anything for Santa, said Peter, the playmaker elf, who started to introduce the elves to one another. Just as Gabriel was going to question what they do next, Snowy, the strategist elf, blew a letter off Santa's desk and discovered it was for them. Snowy read the letter. Dear courageous elves, I know the five of you have great strengths. You will have to use those strengths in order to save me and you will have to work together. I have to go before they catch me. Yours sincerely, Santa. What does he mean we have to work together? said Gabriel, looking confused. Well, according to my magnificent brain, it means that he wants us to put our strengths together and work as a team, commented Paula, the polisher elf. So the elves worked tirelessly, preparing for the trip. Gabriel, the game changer, thought of some amazing ideas and gadgets they could use to help rescue Santa. He designed a new sleigh that appears invisible to others and can track people's movements. Paula the Polisher found a way to increase the speed and also freeze time around them. Meanwhile, Snowy, the strategist, was on the hunt for any clues that may explain what actually happened to Santa and who it was that was after him. When watching the CCTV footage, Snowy saw someone suspicious enter Santa's office. The picture wasn't clear enough to see a face, but it was definitely not an elf, because the person was so tall. Snowy rushed to Santa's office to search for more clues, and there it was, a business card that belonged to none other than Mr Ebenezer Scrooge. Whilst all of this was happening, Peter the Playmaker made sure Icy the Implementer was up to speed with what was happening. He checked everyone was aware of what they needed to do, helping them work as a team effectively so that they could rescue Santa. Icy made sure that she got the materials in quickly to build the sleigh and then started work immediately. Snowy the strategist ensured the boxes were ticked on their checklist and talked through the plan. They were almost ready to set off on the enormous red ruby sleigh, but Christmas Day was fast approaching and they had presents to deliver. With this thought, Gabriel said, Right, let's start this sleigh and freeze time around us. Peter the Playmaker offered some final words of encouragement before they set off. OK, everyone, we just have to try our best. We've got the plan, we've got the tools, so now let's just work together. Let's fly! Off they went into the night sky, High up with the beautiful stars, it was so peaceful it felt like it was only the five of them in the whole world. Then, all of a sudden, Snowy spotted five stars in a line. That way, she said proudly. They flew over rooftops through the woods until they came to a dark, damp, run-down house. This is the place, said Icy excitedly as she brought the sleigh to a halt and dropped the rope down. Peter the Playmaker decided that Icy, Gabriel and Snowy should go down and rescue Santa, whilst Paula and himself remained in the sleigh in case they needed backup. One by one, Gabriel, Snowy and Icy slid down the rope 
and prepared themselves to go inside. They climbed up the side wall through the window into the house. Right, now we need to figure out where Santa actually is, said Icy. They agreed that they would split up and meet after they had checked all the rooms on the upper floor. They had finished checking all nine rooms when they realised there was an extra room that wasn't on their map. They all peered through the slight gap in the door and there saw a sign that read Scrooge's Prison. Who is Scrooge? asked Gabriel. It's the total bar humbug who doesn't like Christmas at all that everyone talks about, said Snowy disappointedly. Stay focused, interrupted Icy. The coast is clear. Let's sneak in, she said. Wait, we can't yet, said Snowy. Why not, said Icy, eager to enter. This Scrooge guy could come back any minute, so we have to take precautions, said Snowy. Gabriel suggested someone stay by the door to keep lookout, and the others go and search for Santa. OK, that's decided then. I will wait outside and you two go in, said Gabriel. So the two girls ventured into the room. Sure enough, in the corner of the room, they spotted a flash of red. They'd found Santa. Whilst Gabriel was keeping a watchful eye on the door, Icy and Snowy got to work. They unlocked Santa from the cage. But how on earth were they going to get Santa out? There was no way he would fit through the small window that the elves entered by. Gabriel had an idea. He threw them the bag of invisible powder so that Santa could escape out of the main door without being seen by Scrooge. Meanwhile, the three elves left the way they entered. They all made it to the sleigh safely. Peter and Paula saw Gabriel and the elves running towards them. Where is Santa? said Paula. Icy assured them that he was on his way, but still invisible. They could see boot prints in the snow, leaving the house. Santa had escaped. Peter helped Santa board the sleigh. Welcome back, he said excitedly. Santa thanked all of the elves for their amazing work. I knew you'd find me, and just in time for Christmas. Right, I see. Let's get the sleigh out of here. We have got some present wrapping to do before deliveries tomorrow. With that, Icy took the reins and they headed back to the North Pole, just in time to save Christmas. (laughs) 